I think we should start with a little chat. The video I'm going to show you today will be the day in the life of a luthier. I'm a one woman business and I work here at Tempest Guitars, which is my surname, and I founded the company last year. But like with most of the internet, this sugar-coated video comes with a heavy backstory, and that backstory is not very pretty. My workday, as you'll see, is a vision of excitement for somebody who loves working with their hands and who loves creative people and doing what they enjoy ultimately for a job. And I'm really struggling to say this next part because I do not want to sound defeatist or self-important, but I'd be lying if I told you that this is what a luthier's life looks like straight out of the gate. I've dropped some resources in the comments if you do want to give Luthery a go, I've got a marketing course that can help you get started with that side of things. I hope that you enjoy this video and even if you don't want to be a luthier, I hope that you get some insight from it as to how much love goes into the instruments that we make. So I generally start the day by getting up at six and making some lunch so I don't have to stop during the day. Then I'll kind of go mentally through my to-do list. So today I am planning to thickness a headstock, make a head plate, make and bend a back plate, uh, glue them together, set the neck, and make this video. Now I used to have a really long commute to work, but I recently moved about five minutes walk from the workshop, so that was just the best thing in the world. And it's British summertime, so it's just such a joy to take that journey in the morning to kind of like get my thoughts together, go through my to-do list mentally, and take five just walking around. <laughs> When I get to the workshop today, I'm the first one here because it's a little bit earlier than perhaps a lot of people like to get in. I've literally just moved into Studio 110 because they're redoing the ground floor and they're making a woodworking hub. And my friend Mike, who I was sharing a workshop with before, had to have his lathe in my spot, so sadly we had to part. My favourite thing is to put on a nice piece of calming music in the morning, because I find it grounds me for the day and makes me in a good mood. Please note my Tonewood mug here, which I'm drinking from. I used to draw these weird little cartoons and sell them to buy woodworking stuff when I was doing my apprenticeship. <laughs> I'm not sad about moving on to the first thing on my to-do list, which today is thicknessing a headstock. This is one of the processes that actually takes me quite a long time and I could have a jig to do it with a router, but I actually kind of like doing it by hand. It's a really good way to channel my precision for the day and get my brain in gear. And I kind of don't want to deal with the smell of sawdust all morning if I do use a nasty big router. there I'll just chop out a bit of excess wood because you got to work smarter not harder and then I'll set about the second thing on my to-do list which is making the head plate. I have this lovely circle inlay on the top of my headstock so I've got to do that as well. I use a plug circle cutter just to get the middle of the inlay and use an 8mm jobber for the rest. This fits my copper inlay beautifully and is a really easy way to do the inlay really beautifully and without any gaps. Next on the agenda is setting the neck on this Redwood and Coa 14 fret model that is due for delivery later this year. 
I'm really thrilled with this because it was one of those blissful occasions where it took very, very minimal tweaking to get the neck angle dead on. But of course, I need to worry about the pitch and the yaw, so the tiniest of tweaks can really mess your day up. But luckily, I did everything okay and it's looking really nice. At this point, I was kidnapped for lunch by some of the people in my studio. There is such a broad range of craftspeople here. It's kind of nice. We have this little tradition where we'll go out on a Friday lunchtime for a half pint or whatever we want to drink. Expect that when it turns into winter, we will probably drop that tradition. But at the moment in the summer, it's really nice. When you work alone, it's really important to keep connected. And I, that's one thing I really love about this building. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> this is Lucy and Ellie, their studio is right next to mine and they make marble paper so I sometimes drop in on people and see what they're doing because there's so many amazing things going on. Hi. This is Amanda. Hello. What do you do Amanda? I'm a botanical artist. Amazing. And I print with plants. I know that obviously. And you got to say hi to your brother haven't you? Hi Andrew! <laughs> in Vancouver Island. <laughs> amazing. Anyway I should probably get back to work. part of the day where it's time to write some emails. <laughs> Woo! I don't mind, you know I don't mind it, it's fine. It's a really good chance to get my brain in, like a bit more relaxed because the, the wonderful thing about computers is that you can press control delete. No, control Z, undo delete. You know what I mean? You can get rid of stuff. Can't do that with woodwork. Be cool if you could. Anyway, what I'm doing now is writing a pitch to a company who I really want to work with on a new video idea, which Hopefully they'll pick up on, they've told me they're interested, so I'm basically just like writing a little bit broader about what I intend to do for the idea and then see if they want to help me out, maybe financially, maybe marketing wise. We shall see! They also might par me off, which happens quite a lot as well. I believe it was Steve Jobs who said the wise words, if you don't ask, the answer is always no. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to reply to some emails, then I might do some social media stuff, which I'm technically doing already because I'm shooting this video, which is good. It's a nice part of the day just to sit and do something else and reset, maybe tidy up the workshop a bit, have some more coffee, just relax. It's good. Anyway, I will do that and get back to you. I'm not going to show you that. It's really boring. You don't want to watch me typing on a laptop, so see you shortly. I was also very excited to realise that I was expecting a delivery today from my wood supplier. I like a witness every time I open new wood, so this is Cider, who's a very important team member here at Tempest Guitars. In this parcel I have got some necks and just a few sets of wood that I have my eye on. My supplier very kindly offered me this really beautiful set of wood with a real history because he knows that I enjoy a good story and I wanted to show it to you. Now I've made a guitar out of walnut before and I absolutely loved working with it. I thought it sounded really great as well. And so when I found out about this stuff, I just felt like I had to give it a go. This is some black walnut. This tree was actually planted by Queen Victoria in Kew Gardens in London. Now as a Londoner, I find it really, really special to use local timbers. My second apprenticeship was with somebody who specialises in using English hardwoods. So I have a real fondness for local wood in my blood. And I'm just really excited to use this. I actually have this in mind for a client coming up in a few years, but 
I will until then keep it very safe on my shelf and it can have a home here for a while. The sides are so beautiful as well, they're quite small but that's absolutely fine, that's going to fit my model really beautifully. Look at that, oh the colour on these is just stunning. I'm going to pop those up on some sticks to acclimatise them and they should be right at home here. They'll definitely have a loving home that's for sure. Lastly it's time to water the plants which I probably should have done earlier in the day but then forgot. I've got like a million spider babies going on at the moment, they absolutely love the workshop. So I put them in little paper cups to bring home to friends. It's a Friday night so I felt like I should probably leave the workshop at a reasonable time and head to a friend's house for dinner. We're going out to a club in London called The Groucho and I can't film in there so obviously I'm not going to, also that would be weird. I was extremely optimistic in painting my nails ready for this night out, but of course as we know, Lutheran nail paint aren't the best of friends. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, do what people do on YouTube. I would be very thankful for it. Leave a comment if you're so inclined as well, and I will see you very soon. Thank you so much.